Project Management Training Course Project Management from A to Z Almost all quality improvement comes via simplification of design, manufacturing, layout, processes and procedures. Tom Peters The principles of project management may be applied to any size of project with success. It is not specific to any industry. All businesses can and should use it effectively. More companies than ever before expect employees to understand the basics of project management. This workshop presented by boti.co.za is designed to give participants an overview of the entire project management process as well as working with project management documents such as a needs assessments plan, a risk management plan and a communication plan. Our workshop will be based on the project management institution's core values as well as the project management body of knowledge which takes us from the initiation phase to closing the project. Initiation, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, closing. The above five processes form the core of any project. A guide every project manager should have close at hand is the guide established by the body of knowledge from the Project Management Institute. It is a comprehensive guide and it sets the standard globally for project management. In this guide, besides the five processes, it also contains the ten areas of knowledge which are imperative to project processes, three of which are procurement management, risk management and time management. The triple constraint is a way to measure a project in terms of time and cost. If the project is delayed or overdue, it will affect the cost. If it has gone over budget, it will affect the scheduling. At the initiation phase, four key project documents are created. These are the statement of work, the requirements document, the project planning worksheet and the project charter. The statement of work defines what work will be done on the project and when it is scheduled to be done. Planning is the nuts and bolts of the project. At this stage, a task list is created as well as an estimated time, a resources list and a cost list, an estimated duration of the project, which is calculated on a scientific formula. Tip. The work breakdown structure WBS can be created in five easy steps. 1. Identify the purpose of the project. 2. Establish the major segments of work. 3. Break the segments of work down into subcomponents. 4. Assign and monitor the project work. 5. Review the WBS with the stakeholders and the project team. A project manager has a large array of planning tools available. In our workshop, we will discuss the Gantt chart, the Network Diagram and the RACI chart. Executing the project is the next step and we will define baselines and how to monitor progress. The next phase is monitoring and controlling and here we go back to estimated time and triple constraint. The last phase in project management is closing out. This is when the product has been delivered, accepted and paid for and the last word belongs to scope verification. Our courses are held throughout South Africa, including Johannesburg, Durban, Cape Town, Port Elizabeth, Bloemfontein, East London and other smaller centers. For further information, please go to our specific webpage on project management training course, boti.co.za slash project management training course a list of all our course schedules at bodhi.co.za slash courses and services slash upcoming events, our email info at bodhi.co.za or our phone number plus 27 11 882 8853.